Of course, get all the way in there.
All right, let's see what kind of bearing fit we got on here. We're hoping for a sliding fit. Okay, I like that fit. All I need to do is finish getting it down here. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. Now, uh, about two under the nominal there. About one. One. So, we just might have to polish this up a little bit. There's about one under there. Yeah, we're gonna throw a little polish on here. We got some, uh, just a little bit of holidays in, in the uh, cut there. It was running pretty true. All right, let's see what we can do on polishing. All right, we've, uh, we, we, had to, we had to work a little area there and a little area down here. But we, we ended up getting our slide fit on our bearing all the way the full length here. We just want the open option and everything on this is going to be 3 inch diameter. So the sprocket, the bearings, uh, any threads, any uh, uh, flanges, everything's going to be 3 inch on, on the outside diameter. This is like 2, 2.5 to 3 thousandths under 3 inch on the money. This bearing is a 3 inch ID. So... I do have a good fit, and that's what I want for a slide. It's not like we're fitting a wheel bearing. This thing's only got to make a 180 degree uh, turn. The reason why we got a stout bearing is because we don't want it to shake, rattle, and roll. We want it to be positive. We want it to rotate smoothly. Uh, these definitely will last it its lifetime. Um, so, all right, what we're going to do now is, if we get that off of there, we're going to go ahead and pull this out and we're going to put this in and we're going to skim this to where it's the same diameter and then we're going to turn a set of threads on it for a test stud for our nuts and we're going to start turning the nuts that will be used on this. Okay, we made sure our bearing fit is close to the same diameter and fit as our uh, tube that we're going to be using. It's falling right in there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make sure that our threading tool is square. We face the end of this, and we're going to use that side of the tool bit to align our threading bit. All right, now we're straight in line. All right, now I think I'm going to run 12 thread. I like 12 threads per inch, and... Uh, and I'm gonna on here and I think we can run about that speed. We're gonna give a little bit of a lead angle right here on the front of our threads. Alright, come in. I like to set to zero. Make sure all my back lash is out. Come over here, get zero set up there. Alright. Once we have that set up, I get my indicator up here because I like to read. I like to read exactly what I'm facing in and out. 